Hey guys, I'm back in the same clothes that I did the last video because I did this video as soon as I uploaded the other one. And today, well not today, but right after that video, I'm gonna do the review on the Lakai Gaimar, just like I said. This shoe, man, I don't have much to say about this shoe. I mean, it was just a, really, it was a good shoe. It had good flick, good like good grip too. The Ollie hole lasted me about two months too. Uh, I stopped skating them. <laughs> This is a funny story. I stopped skating them after um, Guy, Guy Mariano was released. Uh, I mean, was uh, his video was released for Nike SB. And I saw him wearing Nike SBs, of course, because that's what he's on. And I just, I, I threw them in my trunk or in my closet, I think. I was just super mad that day. And I was just like, like, I don't know, I just, I just wanted to throw them away, but I, I'm glad I didn't throw them away, because, I mean, these shoes are, like, shoes I'll never, like, make again. So, might as well have the most fun with them, right? I had some good fun with these. I started skating them the other day, too, and they were, they were nice. I mean, I, for, for one reason, I didn't like the insole in it. It was just a terrible insole. It's like, the Lux Light was soft in the heel, but then, like, extremely rigid in the front like it was just it was entirely it was just uncomfortable it wasn't even it wasn't even like i don't know who makes insoles like that but i'm sorry lakai i really like you guys it's just i don't like those insoles i'll replace your insoles i won't replace your shoes though um yeah the laces tore a lot too <laughs> you can see but i don't know for some reason i like that tattered look so i'll just leave them on as long as possible till like until i can't tie them anymore which i should probably take them off right now yeah, the flick was good. The flick, I don't know. I like the flick a lot. The flick, um, I mean, it didn't wear out too much. I didn't skate them for too long, but I mean, it, it lasted. It lasted. It was good. The suede held up very well. It was very durable. And one thing about these is when I stopped skating them, I took them to work a lot. So right here, all this was like almost gray. And it had red spots from bleach when we would mop the floors in the, at the night, or like in the morning sometimes when something which when we they told us to. So yeah, it was really nasty. So I went over it with um, with permanent marker so it wouldn't look as ugly because I wanted to wear these. I wanted to wear them again. I mean they're Lakai. I, I want to represent something that's like far beyond. No, I'm just kidding. I just like Lakai. Um, I don't really have much to say about the shoe, just that it looks good. I mean, it helped against ankle roll, just like it was uh, pronounced in the in the introduction video for the guy Mariano. The 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 cup sole feel in the back felt very nice. I mean, it it protected your feet quite well, but then the vulcanized feeling, I think they took a little too far. Cause it's like a standard Vulk in the front, but then their insoles made it feel like I was skating on concrete almost. <laughs> Or like I was skating without an insole. It felt like the insole was the, the the actual footbed, and it was it was uncomfortable. It was very uncomfortable. So I took them out and uh, I put in some. I put in my footprints for a long time, and then I put these in when I bought these, and I was just skating them with these, and they were just perfect. I mean, they fit right there. Just a little snug. Yeah, that's it. And I wrote skate rats here because I'm a. I'm a rat. No, I'm, a, I'm a human being. I'm just kidding. Okay. Don't take that seriously, everyone. Um, the air holes, <laughs> the air holes, they worked, sort of. Primos were not bad in these, actually, because the rubber is a little softer. It took the impact. It didn't feel very rigid and solid, so, like, when it would, when you would hit, when you, when you land Primo, it wasn't that bad. On this side, it really helped a lot because like the heel counter is a lot stiffer, so it gave for a more like um, like it wouldn't be as bad, I'm guessing. Because I remember that happened in the Costin, and that that one sucked because the Costin two just sucked. So does the Costin three, and um, yeah, the Primos were okay on these. I mean, with with other insoles, the the eyelets, you know, they were set back quite a bit, but just not enough. You know, like, you know how they, they, they marketed that in the Guy Mariano video? Where, like, they said that they they had the recessed eyelets, or, like, they had pulled them back up high enough 
for someone to for so the laces don't tear. But they still tore. Like as soon as one started tearing, the next one started tearing. It was just like a cycle, you know. Especially because like it'll crinkle like this, especially right there for me. I just tore that one like straight away. Um, really good design. Like I give Lakai credit for this one. The the pushback um, Ollie area. She's like I mean. I don't know why companies don't think of that. Like, why do they put, like, they'll, like, put, on some of their standard shoes, they'll put the suede up to here, like, they're discounting it or something. But on this side, the suede's all the way to the back. Why don't they just put it all the way to the back on this side, too? Like, like I got it right. I mean, it's just, it's, it's simple science. Why don't you just put the heel there, like, the, the, all, like, the ollie area, why don't you just protect it more by pushing the suede back? Instead, like people just put the suede right here, like that doesn't make any sense. It's just something I didn't like in other shoes. I've never skated shoes like that though, but I see it and I'm like, why? But then they did it in this one, I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I think they got the design right with this too. It looked really, really, really neat when I first got it. And um, yeah, a durability on the, what's it called? The name phases me right now, I'm sorry. Um, Durablade on this was okay. It started like flattening out right here around like the first week I started going to work with these on. And then over here too, it started like, well I would skirt in these a lot and that started happening. It's kind of sucky, but I mean, it, it's a shoe. It's not meant to last forever. If it were to last forever, you'd get tired of them. Yeah, that was it right there. The kickflip. I think I gotta show this to you guys. Kickflip area. All area. Heel flips showed no effect. Like seriously, like in this shoe, heel flips were like like this shoe was immune to heel flips nearly. I mean the canvas wasn't really stricken by it at all. I mean just the just the the lightning bolt. But that was it. I mean shit. That's, that's perfect, right? I don't know. I like I like I like tattered aesthetics, you know. But yeah, that's my, I'm goofy, this is my flick foot, this is my pushing foot, the laces are perfectly fine, uh, so switch ollies, switch on 80s in these, they feel really good, you know, like, on the board, these feel, like, perfect, um, yeah, that's switch, I don't do much switch, um, that's the bottom, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's not much, I mean, it's, it wasn't really, like, sorry, it wasn't really skated a lot, so I mean, I guess you could understand why. It was skirted a lot though. All the black, uh, the little thin layer of black, it's gone. <laughs> and then right there, Lakai your die. And I misspelled Lakai. I put Lackey and I put <laughs> I put an A right there because I'm a fucking dumbass. And this, this is one of my creations. I put it in the, t in the front of my toes over here. So whenever a board lands on my toes, doesn't hurt as bad as it would without it. This is from a fallen insole. Yeah, rip fallen, I'm sorry guys. That video was really cheesy. But I mean that's exactly what I felt. I don't I don't want to take it all back or any of it back because that's what I felt. And I mean that's what I grew up with. So yeah, this is the review on the Lakai Gaimar. I don't know if anyone will ever look this up in any like um any amount of time I mean Guy Mar is not even on I mean Guy Mariano isn't even on Lakai anymore. Right? Who would look up Guy Mariano Lakai? Like who? I don't know. But I'm gonna make it anyways because this is what I wanna do. I like reviewing shoes, I like showcasing shoes. This is this is me. I'm a shoe guy. So yeah, that's the review on the Lakai Gaimar. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the shoe, if they still sell them, I think they still have some on Amazon in the Pine Suede. Just, you, bet, you guys better not get them. I'm beat you. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, if you guys want to know where they sell these or like, let's see where they sell them. Amazon, 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 and Amazon. Pretty much where they sell them. Oh, and Amazon. And if you guys want to know how they how they hold up or anything, you just watch the video. You know, just answer my own question. 
But yeah, that's the review on Wakai Gaimar. Uh, leave a comment on anything, you know, anything, please. Subscribe to my channel because there'll be more videos in the future. I mean, I'm gonna start trying to upload weekly, no matter what. I'm gonna just film the video, edit it a little bit, and then I'll upload. I mean, if you guys are even into the, like the vlogging thing, or like um, just wanting to know a little bit about my life or anything, you know, that'd be cool. I mean, I don't mind doing it. I, that sounds pretty interesting to me, to be honest. But it's only if you guys want, because I mean, I kind of want to like do something for other people. I don't want to do it for myself because I feel like that's just being like a a rat bastard. No, I'm just kidding. It's like I don't know. It's only if you guys would find it cool, I'd, I'd probably do it. But yeah, skate or die. Yeah, I need to show you guys something real quick. These are all the shoes that I have. Okay, I have these. BAs. I have these. Another pair of BAs. I have these. Costin ones. Of course, I already did that one. I have the West Gates. And then I have Con Sumners that I never skated. And I have another pair of R all R courts. All courts. And yeah. And yeah, that's um. I have a shit ton of shoes. I have a whole backpack of shoes in my back, in my back, in my trunk. And yeah, I mean, this is what vlogging's like. Am I vlogging? What the fuck? Hey, I'm I'm vlogging. What the fuck? Okay, well, okay. Um, yeah. Yesterday I snapped my board because I was just, I wasn't even irritated. I just was dissatisfied with myself. The way I was doing things. So, I snapped it. I just put that sticker on. And yeah, I mean, I just focused it right, right, right down the middle. Easy. Easy. I got them, them Richter Sparks. They're all right. I got them Indie Highs, because I like popping hot air. Yeah, same thing on that one. I mean, it wouldn't be any different, right? That'd just be kind of weird. Yeah. See you guys later.